Hey everyone, Deepak Saini here from DeepakSainiHealth.com and PersonalBlueZones.com. So this video is a long time coming. I first started talking about uh, the DNA company and getting my uh, another DNA test. Um, uh, for, uh, the first one from them, but you know another DNA test. Uh, I've done a lot before. Jeez, uh, I don't know, nine, ten months ago or something like that. Uh, so I had some challenges in uh, getting my test results, but uh, we'll, we'll, we're not going to do all on that. Uh, I finally got them and had a chance to uh, talk to one of the doctors there to interpret my results, uh, etc. So I actually recorded this video once before, and it just got a little technical uh, with some of the, you know, really getting into uh, what genes and what variations of, of the genes, etc. So um, I'm doing a retake here. I'm just going to make it a little bit more high level. And uh, certainly if anyone has any questions or wants to know more, we can, you know, contact me. We'll get more into the weeds here. But uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's get into it here. So um, essentially, number one, um, I have a, four copies of genes that in combination with each other, not them individually, um, give me associated risk, increased risk for coronary artery disease and uh, uh, and stroke up to up to 23% times more risk, uh, and we'll we'll talk about my feelings on all these results uh, at the end. But uh, that's okay. That's good to know. Uh, my methylation is, uh, is is middle of the road to to poor even. And for those of you who don't know, I'm just gonna I'll just briefly say what you know methylation is. So methylation is essential is an essential process required for vital biochemical reactions, including. DNA, RNA synthesis, repair and regulation, protein metabolism, uh, neurotransmitter synthesis, hormone synthesis, cell division, detoxification and inflammatory processes. Um, last time I checked, those are all really, really important. So I'm again, middle of the road to poor uh, methylation. Um, I susceptible to increased dopamine dopamine binding to the post-somatic neuron, which means I have increased pleasure response, good, I guess, and a decreased likelihood of addictive behavior, also very good. Uh, so when it comes to, you know, not that I drink a ton, but when it comes to alcohol, CBD, THC, um, psilocybin, anything else, I can really take them or leave them. So that's good that I don't have addictive behaviors. Uh, but I guess when I do take them or maybe even throw chocolate in there, um, I do, uh, you know, have a, a good, uh, a good response, uh, to those. So, uh, moving on here. So I've, I have the gene that's associated with increased, uh, calorie consumption in response to stress. Uh, I think many people, you know, are stress eaters for sure. So maybe they all have the same gene, gene or a variation of it or one of the variations of it. But, uh, that is certainly uh, my case, um, so, I mean, I have to sort of, stress management is important for me to keep up with my health and longevity goals so that I don't uh, uh, overconsume calories, even if they're good calories, uh, but certainly not, uh, you know, the, the bad calories, so to speak. Uh, the same gene is also, um, you know, has an in, um, increased risk for developing mood disorders, disruptive symptoms, de sorry, dis depressive symptoms, depression, and suicidal feelings. Uh, so luckily I've never, uh, suffered with any of that. Um, as may, if, if you know my story, you know, when I went through my health challenges a number of years ago, uh, I, I was in depression at, at that point, but since I've overcome that and I've never really suffered from that. So, uh, that's, that's good. I've overcome my genes in, in that, uh, in that regard. Um, yeah, so I have some some genes that are associated with uh, the reduced clearance of re reactive oxygen species and an increased risk of cardio uh, myopathy. Um, so that's that's not good. Um, I have some genes in combination, uh, and the and the the the. T the the, the type of the, of the gene, the, the allele of the gene, uh, confers a tenfold increased risk of heart disease, uh, independent of co-founding factors such as age, sex, diabetes, etc. So 10 times risk. Um, that's not good, but that would maybe explain some family history uh, type of things. Again, it's always about lifestyle, and we'll get to that in a second, but um, that, that, that might explain a few things. Moving on. Um, yeah, I'm also uh, susceptible to uh, or increased susceptibility to BPA 
uh, toxicity, you know, so you get from plastics and and food packaging, um, that that sort of thing. So I mean, that's something that I'm mindful of, uh, for sure. I know that. So you know, trying to use glass containers or stainless steel bottles, uh, that sort of thing. I mean, just from a overall lifestyle point of view. Uh, but this just confirms that I'm doing the right things there. So after I talked to uh, the doctor and my consult after I got my results, and, and the results are quite comprehensive. I'm, I'm just giving you high-level tips here. You know, it's like 50 or 100 pages or something like that and over a couple of reports. But, uh, yeah, so again, I am sensitive to inflammation, you know, with a, you know, almost two times more likely to develop cardiovascular issues. Um, so, I mean, I'm all about reducing inflammation through all the factors that can cause inflammation, you know, primarily focusing on nutrition, but you know, all of them. Um, uh, I have gluten sensitivity, which I, I already knew that myself, but uh, you know, conf confirmed. Um, I have the gene that makes me a good uh, statin metabolizer. Great. I never plan to be on a statin, but good to know. Um, again, I mentioned I'm like an average to poor methylator. So uh, I don't absorb uh, B12. Uh, very well, so which means I need to I need to supplement with uh, with uh, uh, the methyl versions of uh, of B vitamins, and uh, and I'm going to look into um, um, a methylated B9 just as an added uh, something to to help support me. So basically, this is the way it was explained to me. My phase one detox, which happens in the liver, is on the very slow side. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give you an analogy. So if a person, uh, you know. Uh, Gets uh, so if you're, if you're if you're drinking and 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 alcohol breaks down into its byproducts um, and it doesn't pass through through phase one, it just accumulates accumulates. So you can keep drinking, keep drinking, keep drinking until finally it starts to clear into phase two, which also happens in the liver. And then boom, it really hits you. So um, you know when I was talking with the doctor and, and we kind of came up and you know so two things. One, that's probably why I'm a, I'm a very um, slow caffeine metabolizer because it doesn't even really it just it just sits in my system. And then boom, uh, hits. So if I have coffee or caffeine later in the day, uh, it totally messes up my sleep and, and that sort of thing. But when I think thought back to you know university days, you know the days that I'd party and stuff, I could just go pretty you know good for a while. Uh, you know the first four, five, six, eight drinks, whatever, wouldn't even feel it, and then boom, it would hit me to the point I'd be like be sick a lot of times. So that makes sense with how my detox pathways uh, uh, work so um, and then even when it goes to the to phase two uh, uh, detox I'm suboptimal as that as well so I poor phase one detox poor phase two detox so detox support is critical uh, for me um, my my mi mitochondrial so my my genes for uh, for mitochondrial health are compromised so my mitochondrial health is low so which means I need to minimize stress and increase supplements to that support mitochondria. So I was already doing that. Um, I had even before this suspected as such and had amped it up a bit. So this was just confirmation that um, you know my from a supplementation point of view and detox point of view, I was already ahead of the curve or at least ahead of the knowledge and working on these things. So it just co confirms what I what I need to do. So very interesting report. Um, again, uh, some challenges in, 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 in the process with this company and getting my report, but now that I have it, very interesting. Um, not many things I'm actually going to change. Like I said, just a second ago, I'm already, I was upping the supplements and, uh, and mitochondrial support. Um, if anything, uh, from the detox point of view, it's an awareness. Um, not that I did a lot of substances that needed detoxing per se. Uh, but now I'm even more aware of that and that that's going to kind of reduce that. Uh, but the methylation was a bit, I mean, it explains a lot, but it, I didn't realize that. So methylation support is something that I will be focusing on go forward. Now, some of those scary things that I talked about, about, you know, increased risk for cardiovascular disease, et cetera, et cetera, that I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, I'm not letting, I'm not dwelling on that. I think it's, uh, the genetics that are the epigenetics might be there, but, um, it's all lifestyle. It's all lifestyle. So I, I, I feel I have the lifestyle in place that I'm not worried about um, these things um, anytime soon anyway. I mean, hey, if heart disease gets me and I'm 90, 95 or 105, so be it. Um, but I'm not worried about getting that in 50s or 60s uh, like many people are getting these days or even younger. Um, so 
it's all lifestyle. So if you want help on lifestyle or, you know, uh, I guess a couple things. If you want to know more about, I'm happy to share and dig uh, deeper into my report or help you, you know, interpret uh, to the extent that I can uh, any results you have or point you in resources that can point you to resources that can help you with that. But it's all, it's all lifestyle, uh, you know, nutrition, sleep, exercise, stress management, good water, good air, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I do. That's what I help my clients with. I help them with those things so that they can live healthier, longer, and have a greater longevity. So if you're interested in working with me or hearing more about what I do, just reach out. Happy to discuss. DeepakSandyHealth.com, PersonalBlueZones.com. Looking forward to talking to you. And don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel. Cheers.